This is the Provo Tabernacle on fire on December 17th, about 4.30 a.m. This building is, a, is part of our fabric. I hate to compare it to the loss of a loved one, but in many respects, I think the feelings are similar. This is very difficult to put into words because this is such a significant building. I'm just speechless. I just can't hardly believe this is happening. The Provo Tabernacle is at the heart of historic downtown Provo. It was once a meeting place for gatherings and performances, and now it stands in ruin from last year's fire. A decision about whether the Tabernacle will be rebuilt has not yet been reached. From a distance, the Provo Tabernacle appears to stand as it has stood since the late 1800s. But there is something you have to see on the other side of this fence. And it was unbelievable. That was the reaction Donette Perkins had when she saw the Provo Tabernacle appear to float, propped up only by a network of steel supports. People are amazed when they see this. They, they haven't seen anything like it before, and they'd say, it doesn't look real, <laughs> and uh, just amazed that we could do that, that we could lift a building up with, uh, with the piles like that. We came up with some innovative ideas on, on how to underpin it and enable excavation beneath without compromising the integrity of the existing facade. Initially when we showed up, it was, it was just the facade supported uh, by external bracing. Existing grade out here was about 35 feet higher than where it is now underneath the structure. So we went in and, and drilled 140 micropiles inside and outside of the structure. We then slid needle beams beneath the existing foundation, supported the load of the structure onto our underpinning system, and then removed the rubble foundation and excavated beneath. It's kind of an exciting once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to lift a historic building like this. We, we actually haven't moved the building. We're doing all we can to keep it. We've got, you know, the temple suspended 35 feet up in the air on braced micropiles, and we're monitoring loads in the structure through a couple of different systems. This is a very complicated project. Holding up uh, 6,800,000 pounds of building in the air. It's an extensive process that involves engineers, architects, contractors, input from many, many professionals who have great skills and abilities in this area. It's an honor to work with them. There will be two floors in the basement and additional building space built underground to the north and south of the Tabernacle Shell, a second chance for the beloved Provo Landmark. What better way to take this edifice, this historical edifice that had stood here all this time, I mean, so many historical things had happened here, what better thing to do with the edifice of this building but to turn it into a temple. The progress on the temple is also a catalyst for Provo's downtown. There's definitely been an increased enthusiasm for downtown with this announcement. Uh, a lot of interest has been piqued from different developers, different retail outlets and so forth wanting to be associated with the temple. Incredible. Yeah, this would be awesome. From the sad day when the tabernacle caught fire, the rising new temple is a sign of hope. The Provo Tabernacle is has been center to Provo for over a hundred years. The people of Provo have, have used it in many different facets and for, given the opportunity to preserve what's left and do our best to, to preserve it and repurpose it into a temple is a very special opportunity.